Wait, maybe the mic is different. Mm. Nah, it's the same. Is it low? Wait, let me see on my end. Uh, good. I think it's fine on my end. Yeah, oh yeah, happy birthday to the Kim in the chat. She's old na. <laughs> There's like three people watching. Greet the greet the birthday girl. <laughs> Let me change the chat colors. But hey! Internet uh, is good. Seems like it's doing good. Oh, it's red. It's red. <laughs> Ngayon ka lang bumate <laughs> What do you mean? What took you so long? Oh, I didn't say it, huh? I just said you you got older today <laughs> Yeah, that's true, that's true I didn't say happy birthday directly <laughs> I wanted to shout you out on the stream! <laughs> Don't you want to be shouted out on the stream? <laughs> Hi, Vera! We have a birthday girl in the chat. She's old now. Say happy birthday for her. <laughs> Epic. <laughs> I want. <laughs> I mean, internet was like, hey, it's your birthday. Might as well make a <laughs> happy birthday, master. It's not me. <laughs> or maybe you're talking to him. Maybe she's your master. I mean. I don't mind. <laughs> I just assumed master was me, but maybe I'm not master. Maybe I am slave. <laughs> maybe I am maid. <laughs> Epic times. Alright. <laughs> I guess we can like go to the... Oh no! <laughs> I am slave. <laughs> it's okay. I can be. I can be the maid for a, a day. <laughs> the master is Kim in the chat. <laughs> All right. Just pay. Do something, please. All right. Top tier voice acting for the birthday girl. Please figure out I'm, I'm gonna get out of here. Alright, cool. <laughs> a window made of really thick glass. I don't e I don't even think a bullet could break it. There you go. What you drinking? Just Milo. You will never see coffee in my drink. <laughs> Is this like an examination table? There's a creepy mannequin in here, guys. Uh, I can see that. There's something sticking out of the mannequin's head. Like wires or something. What the hell are, were they doing in there? Huh, why is she all quiet now? They were doing experiments on humans. Probably. Oh man, now she looks sad. <laughs> Do you like the top tier voice acting today, huh? Especially for you. I don't know what kind of table this is, but it's but part of it is all black. There's a bed lying over here. I think someone probably used it to make a table black. Mm. 
Well, if they only use the pen on one part of it, pro there's probably something underneath all that pen. Clover, do you think you can erase it? Yeah, sure. Oh, this is a permanent. Oh, oh. Oh, Tanjo be omidito to me. Me he 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 ha xd me got older again. Ah ha ha xd. <laughs> nice. Me he he he. Me he he he. I like that. Me he he he. You said. I mean, you could have said uh just a Tanjo be omidito and think of it as the AI saying. Uh, saying happy birthday to you. <laughs> Epic times. Do you know how to erase an ink from a permanent marker? Erase ink from a permanent marker, huh? Uh, give me a minute. Just a minute, Cobra. I'll be right back. It's a rock! There's a bunch of cables around it. Somebody cut out the outer uh, the outer stuff of the cables. I can see the wires inside. <laughs> can you even understand uh, Clover's voice? Also, it's the game not too loud. Hopefully it's not. I wonder what they watched here. But AI has an English accent while saying Otanjobi. <laughs> Otanjobi. I mean, you know, she AI tried her best. <laughs> she AI is weeb, alright. It's just a new weeb. Wonder what they washed here. There are these weird colored stains all over the thing. I think this is this thing is a monitor for whatever experiment they were running here. There's a bunch of stuff on here like resistance, volume, and voltage. The power's off, so there's nothing on it right now. I wonder what it is. This thing here looks like a voltmeter. And this is the in this the control for that. Oh gosh, there's so many dials. <laughs> Why don't you try and turn? Oh, wait. Why don't you try turning one of them? Ah, uh, nope. Nothing. There's no power here, guys. Turn the dial a whole bunch, but uh, even if I turn all the, all the switches on, nothing happens. Anything unusual on that machine? Well, I don't know, you know. There are a bunch of cords hanging from the bottom of it. Jeez, this is a lot of cords. <laughs> no, you know why? Did you just realize the voice? I've been doing the voice for like a long time. <laughs> Looks like they all go over here to the, into the mannequin's head. So the device and the mannequin are connected. What the hell were they doing in there? Oh man, back when this laboratory was active, that wasn't a mannequin in there, I bet. I guess not. It was a real life human on that table. I wonder what... No, I don't want to think about that. Those are the stairs we just came down. The bars and the gate are just above me. Part of the table's been colored over in black with a permanent marker. If I could find something that could get rid of that ink, I could handle. Alright, cool. So say the control for an electronic tra a lock. There's a red light on display. That means it's locked. I care. I don't know what you're talking about. It's only best top tier voice acting for Kim's birthday. Alright. If we can get the light to turn green, then maybe we can get Clover back. How the- Oh, 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 we have more things! Sorry. How do we voice law this? <clears throat> There's a lot of stuff out here. I don't- 
Uh, I don't know what, how we could use any of this. <laughs> well, I can't say for sure that I don't know how to use at least one of these things. <laughs> Which one? <laughs> the one on top. I think it's a power cable. Power cable, huh? 100% fan service. I don't even know if Kim is enjoying this. <laughs> I'll take that. Oh! This is definitely a power cable. <laughs> What's up? So this is not your usual. <laughs> <laughs> what? Are you saying my usual Clover voice was the same? Do you remember if we run into anything that didn't have power? Um, no, I do not remember. So we'll keep that. A stand for various pieces of equipment. Some of them might be useful. This is a keyhole. This looks like a keyhole for the activation key. No, not Clover, it's a Lotus. Yeah, Lotus and Clover doesn't have the same voice as I usually do. So why you only... <laughs> why you... Wow, the... This is, again, this is a, a, a 3DS game, you know? It was so long ago. <laughs> This is a really old type of keyboard. I think this thing's supposed to power that machine in the other room. Well, it doesn't appear to be doing that. I wonder how it's, we're supposed to turn it off. Is the music too loud for you? Maybe it is too loud. That's it, alright. There are two levers, le lever, lovers here. <laughs> do, do you think they activate something? Well, why don't you move one? Alright, I'll give it a try. Oh, internet bad. My sister is asking, don't you wanna play Bumperman? Wait, Bumperman? Bumperman where? Bumperman where how to play? Who, what, where? Oh no, internet bad. Oh no. Oh, it's bad, it's bad. Bumperman where how to play what is it? Steam, phone, what? Bumperman? Oh no, internet. Don't do this to me, not now. Try to play Bomberman Land on PSP. Damn, really stressful one. I remember playing Bomberman in the Game Boy Advance. <laughs> remember when those things exist? Also, internet bad. Oh, well, it's back now. I'm not sure how long it'll be back, but... I remember playing Bomberman on the Game Boy Advance. I... We never had a PSP, so... Actually, we never really had anything other than the Game Boy Advance. <laughs> oh yeah, it, uh... What's this? It's been a, a long time now. Oh, I guess you can't see it that much. But I'm not sure if you can see the lines, maybe because of the light that's literally in front of it. But... <laughs> oh yeah, you can see it a bit.
but I also have it here. I I stopped the Miru and Meow Meow fighting and uh, I got clawed. <laughs> I got scratched and bitten, boys. Uh, this was actually swollen for a bit, for like a few days. Actually, it, it still hurts if I touch it. If I squeeze it. <laughs> uh, but it's alright. It's healed up now. I'll, I'll get like sick scars. Like <laughs> badass scars that I can like show to people and be like, hey, 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 hey. Hey, 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 look at my battle scars, boys. <laughs> Thanks, Hamid! <laughs> also, your internet bad. Why is it bad? Uh, no, doesn't look like anything's happened. The hands on the clocks have stopped moving. The, cl uh, the clock may stop, but the time goes on. No time to screw around. We need to figure out a way out of here. As if that wasn't obvious enough. I wonder what this cable is connected to. Okay, one side of this thing is in the room with us. The other side extends to the laboratory where Clover is. In other words, the console in front of us is connected to the device in the laboratory. Cool. Oh shit, more stuff. God damn, this is a big ass room. Mother Naren doesn't have a power cable, so one end of this cable needs to be connected to the monitor. And the <laughs> I did not mean that, but since I had the cable um, equipped, I guess it just goes. Plug in under the desk. Alright, let's just slip you in, huh? Well, shoot, I can't use this. What's wrong? The cable has three prongs, but the socket only has two holes. It's not gonna fit, is what I'm saying. In other words, we're gonna need a plug to change the power cable to one with two prongs. Uh, that's right. Keyboard. Mouse. A whole bunch of steel lockers. The nine on the right all have the red little red lights on them. The red lights, huh? Well, can't hurt to give this baby a try. Yep, that's just as I thought. Locked tight on all nine of them. I wonder if there's anything important in there. Do you want me to revert back to my normal voice? <laughs> We're getting tired of uh, Lotus uh, sad time boys oh what's this Etudo. i don't know i wonder if this is for antisepsis oh it says anhydru anhydru ethanol anhydrous is that different from the regular ethanol come on it's common knowledge anhydrous ethanol is a power cleaner oh we, we can give this to um Clover. I can't even erase marks left by a permanent marker. Alright, cool. Thanks, Lotus. There's some papers and stuff inside in them. What's in the boxes? They look quite cool. Oh no. voice is fine for me to say but lotus the deep voice kind of thing is hard <laughs> what's in the boxes they look full as far as i can tell it's a, uh, as far as i can tell it's a bunch of notes about some kind of experiments but it's all really technical and stuff i don't really get it all right hey clover Clover, use this ethanol. You should be able to wipe off that permanent ick with it. What am I gonna wipe with? Oh well, your clothes, of course. <laughs> I just 
just kidding, just kidding. Please don't look at me like that. You're scaring me. You need something to wipe off with? You don't want your fucking clothes? Oh my god, do you want to get out of the room? Or, you know... Oh, use the cloth on the table. There's a cloth on the table. Use, huh? Uh, soak it in ethanol and then use to use it to wash off all the stuff from the permanent marker. Okay. Right. Okay. So I gotta soak the cloth with ethanol. Well, she's got the cloth, but she seems to be having a little trouble with the bottle of ethanol. When she's ready, I should ask her to get on that stuff on the table. So the claw. All right, Jimpe, it's working. It's wiping the permanent ink off. Huh? There is some kind of weird drawing under all the permanent ink. What's the deal with the drawing clover found? Maybe I should ask her to take another look at the table. I wonder what it says. There is a bunch of numbers in some kind of grid. I can see it from here. Clover, you've got a pen and a notebook, right? Could you write those numbers down then hand them to me through the bars? Okay. Roger. Alright. Give it. Oh, maybe we need to go back here? Give me. Here, Junpei. I wrote down all the numbers from the desk on here. Papers with numbers on it acquired. Alright. They really want me to use the file screen, huh? The note Clover copied from the stand in the laboratory. It has four numbers written in nine separate cells. One, two, four, three, four. All right. I think I know what I'm supposed to do. Uh, I guess I don't know what I'm supposed to do, actually. <laughs> Looks like the- oh, that's the exit, alright. Never mind then. Did we miss anything here? I feel like not really, huh? So I guess it has something to do like in Clover's room? Let's see... It's a wrap. There are some cables with copper wires except... Mm. Wow, this is kinda tough just because I don't really know what I'm going to do here. We got a note. I thought it was going to be something like for um this ones. Oh, oh there we go. These lockers are a little larger from than the ones on top. Uh, let's see if there's anything useful in here. And uh, no, nothing. Oh, nothing. Sad. All right. Maybe we can do something on here? I guess not. Wow, I'm stuck, boys. <laughs> No power going through it. Commonly known as a sink, as if I don't know that, Junpei. Internet back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, it should be for the. for the. um. Lockers, but I guess not because it won't let me It 
won't let me do it. Ooh. But without the true two prong plug, it cannot be connected. So I guess we're missing something. But I feel like I checked everything. Hey Clover, how are the power cables over there? Huh? What do you mean? Uh, does the plug have three prongs or two? Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. Let me go look. I guess she does have to kind of crouch down there to get a look under, I guess. Mm, the cable on the monitor uh, has... Uh, it, it's got two of those little metal things. Hey, wanna farm tomorrow before game night? Yeah, we could. Wake me up earlier though. <laughs> and that's it. Uh, that's it. Okay, can you unplug that cable and bring it over here? Uh, okay, but... But... Well, I can't plug it, but it's connected to the main computer. I can't take it over to you. Damn it, that's no good then. Well, how about just a plug? What? The, the plug? Well, maybe more like a connector? It's the sort of thing that makes the plug with the three metal thingies into a plug with two metal thingies. Still useless? Not useless, not useless at all. That's just what we're looking for. Okay, can you hold on for a bit? And back there she goes. Alright, I can plug. Uh, I'll hand it over to you at the bars, okay? Alright. They really want us to use the bars. Alright. Here you go. Do the prompt plug. Thanks. Nice. This is the two prompt plug that we can use to convert the power cable to a, from a three prompt cable into a two prompt one. Wow, thanks for the info. Okay. With a two prong plug up to the head of this power cable, yeah. Alright, now we can use a computer. Alright, I've got the two prong power cable in my hand. Pretty sure this will work. Under the desk I go. Let's just plug this thing into the monitor. Alright, that ought to do it. Alright. Let's turn on let's turn the power on. Uh, I don't think anything's going to happen. Well, why not? Well, it's not connected to the main computer. You never know until you try. Pretty optimistic. Hey, it worked oh, out! It worked! Oh, voice acting. What? Huh? It's running on its own? It certainly looks like it. Uh, isn't that kind of weird? What? Well, it's not connected to the main computer, right? How does computer work in this timeline? <laughs> There's just this keyboard and monitor. Oh! Oh, that kind of computer. So this is an advanced computer for them, I guess. The only cable connected to this thing is the power cable we just plugged in. So why is it working? There are so many desktop uh, one. Two in one PCs? Is that what they call it? The one that's just really the monitor? Right? There's a lot of those now, but. Maybe it's a wireless display. Uh, a wireless display? There's wires. You can see the wires in the back. Yes, it connects to your computer wirelessly, hence the name. Have you been living in a cave, Junpei? There's literally wires there, but I guess it's just power. Is that normal? Yes, at least where I worked. Wireless displays. Really? I feel like that's not really gonna help much, but oh. I guess they don't really care about it. Oh, it stopped. Pass with a colon. Looks like we need to enter a password. Again? There must be a hint around here somewhere. Why is Lotus in this outfit? From how she speaks and how she talked about herself, it seems like she li lives in a pretty civilized place and works a pretty, you know, I guess futuristic job for the time. But 
Why is she wearing this? Could you go take a look? Yeah, I'm on it. What are you going to do? I'll see if I can do something about this on my own. On your own? Yep, on my own. Lotus? Lotus oh. is actually a hacker. Oh my god, Let's look at those kick bobbies. Some ass. <laughs> Babus, boobas, boobas. There you go. Uh, wait, what? Oh my gosh, Lotus is a hacker! <laughs> Didn't expect that, did you? Of course I didn't! You're typing so fast, I, I can't even see your fingers. Nice. What kind of job do you have? What are you? <laughs> a hacker man. I'm at the moment. I'm oh, I used to work moment. for a cybersecurity firm, but I quit. Oh, I see, I see. Why? Huh? Oh, um, it was just something. I see. <laughs> I see! Jupe is actually not looking at the hands. She, he's looking clearly at the babas. <laughs> clearly looking at the boobas here. Definitely not on the hands. That's why he can't see his her hands typing. That's because she's he's looking at the boobas. <laughs> Whoa, this is hot. Damn. <laughs> hmm. Lotus is hot. Oh, uh, what are you doing now? But apparently she's some milf, right? <laughs> I'm going to try and brute force it. Brute Easy. what? A brute force attack is... Well, the short version is that I just attack the thing head on. The long version? A brute force attack is one of the simplest ways to break a cipher. And uh, what is a cipher? It checks every possible combination until it finds the right one. For a complex cipher, it can take a very long time. I'm writing a program that would run an attack like that on its own. Ah, all right. I think I got the gist of it's it. Not the most elegant solution, certainly. But given the circumstances, there isn't much else I can do. Oh, but back to what we were talking about earlier. But isn't that supposed to take like a long time? We don't really have much time here. What were we talking <laughs> about? The wireless display. It's kind of strange if you think about it, isn't it? Hmm. Oh, are we gonna talk about the morphogenetic morphogenetic field again? <laughs> How do I put it? Well, let's say you write a program that calculates an addition problem for you, all right? Uh -huh. So you enter one plus one. Mm -hmm. The screen will show you two. Mm -hmm. See? Isn't that strange? Uh, no. Not really. No, oh, come on now. Of course a caveman like you would think it was strange. You said so just a minute ago. Hmm? <laughs> You're just not getting it, are you? Who calculated one plus one? Uh, uh, the, the main computer, right? You said it connected to the monitor Yeah, wirelessly. but it's not like it can do anything on its own, Junpei. So someone has to have calculated that for or asked how or uh, I don't know the terms. Thought the computer how to calculate yeah, those Yeah, but things. someone who grew up in a cave wouldn't know that, right? They'd probably think that this thing here, the monitor, is doing the calculating. And once they've decided that, they'll start examining this monitor. Ah, oh, we were talking about that already. They might... Poke the screen or something. Ah, I see the color changes when I press it here. Then they might investigate the hardware on the inside. Oh, I see. So this wire supplies the power. Eventually, they might even cut the wires. Ah, yes. Just as I expected. When this wire is cut, no results appear. Whoa, the visuals are different. Hi, Chase. Welcome. You can see Boobus right here. Therefore. It must be this device which does the calculations. Say happy birthday to the Kim in the chat, by the way. There's a birthday girl in the, the chat. <laughs> oh. But the truth is that, just like you said, the computer is doing the calculating. But these cave people wouldn't know that. Because they have no idea that the monitor and the computer are connected wirelessly. So, uh, what are you trying yeah. to say? <laughs> Nothing, really. It's just, I thought maybe. What do you? What did you think? What if the relationship between human beings and our brains is like that? They're wireless, but they're technically not wireless, huh? are they? Well, let's say you stick a bunch of electrodes into parts of the brain. A scientist examining the signals they send out. Oh, might say, is that the experiment that's happening in this room? Hmm, interesting. So stimulating this part of the brain causes the person to see colors. That must mean this neuron cluster controls that function. Ah, oh, I see. So she's saying that maybe 
something else is actually controlling us, right? Rather than the brain sec sending signals. It's my first time seeing Junpei. Oh, oh yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> yeah, that was Junpei. <laughs> okay, let's see what happens when I cut out this part. Ah, uh, just what I thought. Cutting off this part causes that function to cease. Therefore, human thought So again, it goes back to the morphogenetic brain. field that they were talking about in the last run. See? Right? Doesn't it sound the same? Mm, yeah. Maybe the brain is just an output device, like this monitor. Maybe our thought processes actually occur somewhere else, in a main body. Yeah! We just don't know it. We never even think about it. Just like those cave people wouldn't know about wireless communications. We can't imagine that there's some unknown medium that transfers information into our brains, where we experience that information as thoughts. Um, the brain is just an output device. Human thought actually occurs somewhere else. Yeah, people would say that would be the spirit, <laughs> right? If there is a spirit, that would be it, right? <laughs> That's just crazy talk. My, why is she still typing? She's a hacker, hacker girl. And she is uh, doing some programs so that she can, um, I don't know, hack the system. <laughs> Maybe that's the cause of Seven's amnesia. Right? If memory is actually stored somewhere else, in some sort of main body somewhere. You know what? That actually makes a lot of sense. Because people, some people remember after a, a time, right? But then again, I guess we also have an explanation as to why that happens. Because, uh, you know, when some part of the brain is damaged, maybe it takes like just a little of time for it to heal and reconnect again. So then they remember stuff, right? Oh, by the way, do you want to play uh, The Forest for game night? Oh, why? Are, is everyone gonna play the forest? I mean, I don't mind. Do I still have the forest here? I think I still have the forest. Wait, let me just check. When did we play the forest? Did I play it before I reset with my PC? I don't have it now. King is gonna be there. I see, I see, I see. We'll see how it goes. I, I think there might be a lot of people. Because lots of people are coming into the, the Discord now. For some reason. <laughs> and we'll, we'll just see how it goes. He's just having a difficult time accessing his memories. Because the monitor, his brain, has been damaged. What are we playing? I don't know. Actually, it, it just ends up a uh, scribble IO Gartic or a Molas. <laughs> I'm concerned about Lotus dress. It's if it's in real life, I guess her nips are already seen. Yeah, I mean, I yeah, that's true. I don't know why, um, but don't lots of like animes do the boobas like that <laughs> they put the nips like really really low for some reason <laughs> uh, anyways huh. you, hmm. I suppose that would explain aphasia and blindsight too what's aphasia again? perhaps they actually can't speak or see aphasia is speaking uh, not speaking, I guess. The monitor just isn't functioning properly. Maybe? Hmm. I guess people with prosopagnosia could be suffering from the same thing. Wait, wait a minute. Prosopagnosia? What? It's the face. Um... What? You've never heard of prosopagnosia? It's not a term that you would usually encounter in your life, but it's the one where you can't recognize faces. No. What is it? 
Well, put simply, it means a condition where the mind can't distinguish between human faces. In other words, my face would look the same as Clover's or even yours. So they can't remember faces, which is how most people recognize each other. That means that people with prosopagnosia have trouble recognizing even people they're close to. Usually they can make do by associating people with other things. Their voices, their clothes, their hair. Does that mean other people's faces look like blanks? Kind of, maybe. No. No, I don't think so. Not necessarily. It's still there. It's just that they can't recall it, isn't it? Well, you've seen monkeys, like in a zoo, right? To you and me, all the monkey faces look the same. It's not necessarily Even though they've obviously true. got faces, it's almost impossible for a human to distinguish between them. I guess that's true in a way. The zoo staff that works with them would learn to identify different monkeys eventually. But you or I couldn't. No, this is one so scar too smart for her looks. <laughs> I, I still don't understand the reasoning as to her outfit. Despite her being a cybersecurity hacker peep. <laughs> well, that's how people would be to someone with prosopagnosia. Prosopagnosia? Ah, I didn't even know that kind of thing existed. And um, uh, what were we talking about? The idea that your brain is just an outfit device, like a monitor. How long are we typing on this clover in the background? It's like, hey guys, can you just help me get out of here now? What are you doing? What is that timing I'm hearing? Can you just help me? <laughs> oh, oh, hi, John Marie. You didn't send any message. <laughs> we could have uh, read like um, what the, uh, the AI. <laughs> I like the AI voice. <laughs> but they, they, thanks for the star. Uh, we have a birdie girl in the chat. It would be nice if you can send the birthday girl, which is Kim, some happy birthdays in the chat. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Are you serious about that stuff? Not really. I was just kidding for about half of it. What about the other half? Well, I guess I was just adulting. Mm -hmm. Hmm. <sighs> Not funny. <laughs> it's nothing more than a story I made up out of boredom. Take it seriously. It was the first thing that came to mind, and I just talked about it to kill time. Yeah, I do that a lot, too. I do say a lot of things that I don't necessarily think is true. But it's nice to think of stuff like that, you know? It's nice to, like, hey, what if these things actually are, you know, like this? But, looks like I don't need to talk anymore. Why? Not enough to kill time any longer. Oh, wow, lot is so cool. <laughs> oh, then you finished that brute whatever thing? I certainly did. And let's see what we got. <laughs> lot is so cool. Lot is went as the top character that I like in this game already <laughs> because of this. Sup, 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 sup. Yee. The screen changed again. What the hell is that? Oh. No idea. Looks like a puzzle. Huh? Uh, aren't you gonna, I don't know, do more computer stuff? No, I can't do anymore. It won't let me do any more programming. See? The keyboard. Nothing. So this, this, um, you know what? Lotus was always meant to go to this room. Because the other room did not have any, um, computer stuff to do with, right? So... I think, right, in terms of plot, we're saying that Zero actually is kind of controlling our subconscious and making us choose the path we need to go to. It's 999. <laughs> 9 hours, 9 persons, 9 doors. Uh, zero escape. You did. So, there's nothing more I can do. Because we're trying to get the uh, true ending. Because apparently you can't get the true ending. We w just got cliffhanged the first time we played through this. And we need to get the rest of the ending first before we can get the true ending. So we're trying to get through all of it. <laughs> um. Well, I guess I'll leave this to you then, Junpei. What? Let me take a break, alright? I did my part. 
Yeah, uh, well, I guess you're right. Thanks, Lotus. No problem. Lotus is my Make top sure you character know when you now. Should thank people. She has boobas. She has the smarts. She's sassy and she a milf. <laughs> All right, Lotus is our top. Uh, is my top um, character in this game now. now. I better take care of this myself. No more relying on anyone else. Yep, I, as I thought it's that kind of game, is it? What? Alright! We solved it! Did you hear a noise just now? Uh, yeah, I did. It sounded like something unlocking. Where did that come- where did it come from? Oh, here. Look, Junpei! The lights on the lockers are green! Uh, then we must have unlocked it with the computer puzzle. Why only one? There's more than one key in here. This one is small and it looks like so it goes to some sort of machine. And this one has the earth symbol on it. I think the art symbol matches a keyhole in a door on a deck. Well, if that's the case, we probably don't need the earth key right now. Alright then, earth key. I'll just tuck you away deep in my pocket. Now as for the other key... What kind of key is this? From the shape of it, I'd say it's not for a door. Probably some sort of device? Oh! What is it? I wonder, do you think maybe this is the activation key for that thing? The activation key? For the goddamn big ass machine on the right, boy! <laughs> yes, it's how it has to be. I feel good about this. Hey, Junpei! Oh, shit. Do you have a minute? Alright. What's up? Trying to talk to us, I guess. I, um, I wanted to ask you something. Alright, what is it? Mm -hmm. Junpei. You went into door five with my brother, right? Oh yeah, did we did. Did you hear him say, like, anything weird? I don't remember. It's been a while since we played this game. Uh -huh. Well, let me think. It was kind Sorry, of weird, Clover. but I, I don't really, really think, think... think... I don't remember anything I mean, he did mention weird. that his hearing exceeds that of a regular person, or something like that, but... That's about it. Okay. Uh, hey, uh, wait a minute. Hmm? Look, I, I don't know if I should ask you things, but what if you, you don't asking? mind, uh, I was hoping you could tell me if... Is Snake, uh, I mean, was he born... Oh, you could just ask normally. Why are you hesitating? I mean, I, I mean, you could just ask, right? She doesn't need to specify it. You could be like, hey, you don't need to specify any details, but was he born blind or was it something that happened after you're talking about his eyes yeah that's not really something that uh weird to uh you know bring up no he wasn't born blind all right when he was a kid he got in an accident okay. a really bad car accident he couldn't see after that and his arm his arm yeah my brother's left arm is, um, it's not like a normal person's arm. Is it a mechanical arm? It's fake. It's not a real arm. Oh yeah, he he doesn't really use it. You, you just see him a lot uh, using his other arm. The accident hurt him really bad. To save him, they, they had to cut off his arm. Why are you telling me all of this now? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I mean, I don't really mind. More information uh, is good, I guess. Is that all you wanted to ask me? Look, I'm, I, I'm sorry for making you talk about all that painful stuff. It's not that. What do I need to ask you then? Alright, cool! This key. The shape sure makes it seem like it's goes to this machine. Alright, I'm turning it on. Okay, the monitor is on now. And it's full of letters. It's showing some kind of warning. The 
power restored to their experimental device. Emergency system will activate in the event of a normal subject behavior. Okay. Typing on the keyboard isn't doing anything. So I guess this is activated now. There's a mannequin lying on the exam table. It's gonna bunch. Uh huh. Junpei! This thing here in here is on now! Yeah, that's cause we activated the power over on this side. Could you play with it like a little? Okay. Yeah, I will turn on this dial here. Turn, turn, turn. I don't think it's working. Nothing happened. Maybe she missed something. I should ask her to look around the room again. Mannequin looks so sad! I gotta admit, I'm staring I'm starting to feel kind of sorry for it. Maybe if you... Maybe if you increase the voltage. Roger! Will do! Okay, I'm gonna go all the way to max voltage! Max voltage? Hey, wait, Clover! Aw, oh, shit! What? Um, I think I... Oh man, you killed that. Oh shit! Oh my god! The, the, the mannequin's head! Oh man, that sounds like a fire alarm. What the hell? Fire detected! Fire detected! The emergency system will, will be activated! Evacuate the room immediately! The mannequin's head is on fire. Okay, looks kind of funny, but this is no laughing matter. Uh, Junpei, it's so hot in here. Help me. Um, you have water day. I, I have the same clover. Oh. Junpei, look at the light. Yes, it's green! The emergency system has activated and disabled the lock. Now we can save Clover. Jumping! Come on, kid, jump! She's safe! Oh man, that smoke is some serious business. Time to close this door again, I think. Clover! Are you okay? Are you hurt? <laughs> Damn, she's scalping so hard she can't even talk. Uh, <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Of course I'm not alright! What the hell took you so long, you big jerk? It's almost dead! You won't die that fast! I, I was so quick! I only took like a few seconds, not even a minute. S sorry, I, I was going as fast as I could. You two can do this later. Right now, we need to get the hell out of here. The fire's not going to stay in that room forever. Alright! Yay, we finished the... This room. What room is this? Third room? <sighs> Whew, thank God we got out of there. Yeah, finally. <coughs> oh, yeah. <sighs> May I change my earphones for a bit? Because it's starting to head, uh, hurt my head now. Oh shit, I almost slipped on my chair. Ah, fuck. Oh no, this this stream is a mess. Alright. Alright, let's go. Okay. Damn, none of these open. They're all locked. How about that one? Let's hope this is the door with the prize. Jumpy! Huh? Oh shit, this one. No! June? No! Alright, I think we can... Uh, wait, let me see. Santa! Hey, what are you guys doing oh, here? Oh, look at my favorite boy. I really hope he killed um, June, but I guess not. 
Oh, we didn't get anything, any keys from here. Or maybe oh. that's just because uh, I haven't finished that route yet, maybe. What? But we didn't... Hey, guys! Could we you come take a look door. at this? Because we did this pretty fast. Hey, on the wall. A map of the ship's interior? It says Sea Deck. So it's the map for this floor, then? I guess door it seven. is. And... Door 8. Yep, they both eventually end up at this hallway. Yeah, isn't that what I said? Why does it always have to be Jun uh, who will call Jun Pei? You're going to be true. split up permanently till we find door nine. And he all and she always got to be like Jumpy, and I'm like, uh, please stop calling me that. That was my nickname for like what when we were like in grade school. I think we're in college now. We didn't see each other since grade five or something and you're still calling me jumpy <laughs> we might get separated for a little while but we'll see each other again otherwise we won't be able to open door nine and that's how the notary game works wait a sec this leads to oh you've got to be kidding me we may as well go yeah oh i almost forgot we should keep this Ready? I'm gonna open it. Yep. Whoa, 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 whoa. I knew it. We're back. And then Ace is here. In the hospital room. And Ace is like, damn, all that drama of, of earlier was for nothing. <laughs> all that drama about me I sacrificing see. myself I to believe I understand what so you're that saying. everyone else would survive is all for nothing. <laughs> All right, let's skip this now. Since we already know what happens here. Uh, wait, actually, let me see which room we're supposed to go in next. For our third ending, I guess. We're supposed to go through door one again. So, all right. We can do that. Oh, there you go. Oof. Internet is still not back. Alright, are we back? Alright, we're just gonna wait and see if we're back. Oh, well, I guess I can just skip this parts while we're waiting. I think we're back. We're just skipping through this. We'll try and get through at least another door. And then that would mean we'll be reaching the end. We'll be reaching up the end of this run if we finish the next um, rooms. Or maybe not, because there's two rooms behind that, right? Behind door one, there's two rooms, right? Where we'll have to go through two rooms. So I guess not. We'll go through the first room and then um, continue on. But then again, since I know the puzzle already, maybe we can do it like fast. We'll see. If we do it quick enough, we can probably reach an end. Oh my god, internet sucks. Alright, you should be back. I have to disconnect and reconnect for the internet to be back. That, that's weird. Well, I, I mean, there's nothing happening right now. I'm just skipping the parts we've already seen. So if you didn't see the parts, the, 
being shown here. I guess you can't really see them because mm, yeah, that part was really laggy. Anyways, we're supposed to go through door one. And since we already went through door one once, I think we can do this fast. If we can do it fast enough to um, do it before like 11, we can do it. We'll get like the ending. supposed to go through wait I'm confused let me search the non-spoiler um, walkthrough again because we're back in the f oh no 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 we're here wait 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 wait, wait. There it is! Over there! Because we're over here. Right? So I'm not sure if it's just gonna take us to the clover ending again. So let me just check real quick. Um, nine hours, nine persons. Nine doors, no spoiler watcher. All right, let me see. Oh, oofers. I guess we made the wrong thing, maybe. Because we already, I guess we already achieved um, ending one. This is ending one and then this is ending two, I guess. I guess we ha we should have gone with um, ending three. Maybe let's go through door 6. Maybe it'll be fine. Right? Maybe it'll be fine. Let's go through door 6. Uh, let's go here. Yes. Maybe it'll be fine if we One, just two, go three, through four. door six. All right, seven pieces. Cause uh, that would be a shame. Cause we already did like every uh, a lot of this. Only to notice at the end that hey, we were actually at the wrong path. <laughs> also, internet's going bad again. Oh. Never mind, it went back up. I want to go through... What's the door here? So, ending number 3 wants us to go through door 4, door 8, door 6. Uh, we've gone through all of those except door 6, so we can do this. Clover and I chose door 1. Lotus and I chose door 2. That's not enough people to open a numbered door, however. The digital routes don't match up. We've got similar problems, June. Junpei and I want to go through door six, but our digital route is five. If we're going to open that door, we need a one. Not 
Damn, what are we gonna do now? What are we going to do? Why don't Seven and Lotus go through door one with me? What about me? Isn't that obvious? Wasn't one of the teams just complete? I understand. Mm, I'll go so through door six then. All right, we're back. We're back. All right. Cool. If we do as Clover has suggested, we can all pass through a numbered door, and no one will be left behind. This seems to be the most reasonable solution. Seven, Lotus, what do you guys think? Oh, it refreshed. The chat refreshed. I don't have a problem with it. Me either. All right then, we're good to go. See you later. Wait, Clover! Don't move on your own! Oh, I'll be going too then. Yeah, be careful. We should right. be going as well. Half our girl. Alright, I guess this will this be a is new door. So, I guess we can just do one puzzle room and then we'll keep the next for, um, uh, keep the others for next time. There should Whatever be a door at the end of the be. hall. All right, let's go. Oh, Santa's with... Santa's with us, so that's nice. Although we had to go with June. That sucks. Oh my god, internet. If internet doesn't... Uh, become stable I might just end it at like the beginning of the room and like uh, continue it next here time. it is you guys ready mm. internet isn't exactly stable Let me see if this will help. Alright, we'll, we'll, we'll see how it goes. If uh, internet stable yeah. enough, we'll, we'll do this puzzle. Let's get to it. Alright, door number six. Hey! I found it! It's right there! Oh, that's so fast. Uh. <gasps> Sucks that we have to have uh, June here, oh, but... Yes! It stopped! Oof. Ooh. Not excited with I don't with believe I'll June. ever get used to that. Being with June at all. I'm not sure it's something I'd want to get used to. We should finish this game before imminent death becomes a normal thing. You got that right. Once I'm out of this hellhole, I'm taking a nice long vacation. Indeed. <laughs> I agree. All right, let's go. It's funny how Zero put the watches over their clothes. Do you see this? <laughs> they put he put the watch over their clothes. Damn, that's so brutal. I think I, that would annoy me. This door looks heavy. But it's not locked. I'm opening it. Oh. Whoa, what this the is hell big. is this? This has to be the biggest room so far. The ceiling is pretty oh high, too. Oh my god, too. this is gonna be long, isn't it? Huh. Could be two stories. Maybe even more. This space could be utilizing the entire length of the ship. We'll see, we'll What's see. What's that huge Kamaboko looking building in the middle? Kamaboko? <laughs> well, I guess that's as good of a description of it as any. I see stairs. So we may as well head over to them. Yeah, but this section's barely wide enough to fit one person. You're right. Whoa, you can't even tell the shape when you're this close. Up, oh, internet bad. Let's see it, if it goes far up. There you go. Let's check out the other side too. Hmm. 
Maybe I should save here. Since internet is kind of fucky lucky. Oh wait, it's back up, but how long will it be up? Ah, uh, not long. Mm. Mm. Oh yeah, not long. Anyway, since internet sucks, I think I'm gonna stop it for today. I saved, like at this moment, so we'll just continue where we left off like next time. Um, I actually want to get through this game like as fast as I can So maybe we'll hold off the Outlast for now and like just go through this game because goddamn it's so long Anyways, I'm just gonna type it out in the chat just in case Alright, internet's back, but mm, yeah, I don't trust it to be like back for any longer. So yeah, since um internet's kind of sucky sucky, uh, I thought maybe we should stop it for now and then continue on another day, which is might be just tomorrow, because I think I really want to finish this game once and for all. So I want to make like good progress on it. And anyways, I wanted this this um week to be a break week anyways to begin with so maybe you know just me going through this game relax a little bit would be nice well we'll see but i want to really get through this game more so if internet holds up We'll probably um, continue this tomorrow. We'll, and if we continue it tomorrow, I'm sure we're gonna get an ending. So hopefully that works well. Anyways, I hope you've had fun for like the um, short amount of time that we actually streamed. Um, but yeah, see you tomorrow because there's um, regular stream and then game night streams.